Hey guys, today is my first day back at the gym. It's about one o'clock at night. I'm a night owl. I, uh, I'm a computer engineer, so that's my real job. I program at night because not many people are using the application. Therefore, it's better to program when not many people are using your application on the internet. So as a night owl, it's, pro it's part of who I am. I like working out at night. Some people say you should work out during the morning. It really depends on what your body feels like. And I feel like working out at one o'clock at night. Being here in Florida, it's hot, it's humid. As you guys can see, I'm beginning to sweat. Uh, luckily, I have the air condition on. Might take a while to cool the place, but you know what? Uh, this is exercise, so you are expected to sweat. All right, guys, so for those of you who may or may not know, I haven't been to the gym in over half a year. I lost whatever gains I had. I gained about 20 pounds of fat. I weigh about 260 pounds. Most of it is fat. And quite frankly speaking, I am starting all over again. Now, this time around, I am starting with testosterone replacement therapy. Now, as you guys uh, may or may not know, I'm 40 years old. As a 40-year-old person, you need well you don't really need trt but when you have t when my my testosterone is 300 that's very low it has to be around seven to eight hundred so when you have testosterone that's at the bottom of the bottom you definitely need medical intervention and i do my testosterone replacement therapy under the guidance of a doctor yes i'm paying the extra you know 50 60 bucks for it but hey better to be safe then sorry so now i'm gonna start off by doing push-ups uh push-ups give me a good idea of where i stand now for those of you who may have checked out my profile i you can go on imdb.com type in amar metwali i was an actor out in hollywood nothing big by any means basically thug terrorist cop you know meathead at the gym whatever right whatever they needed for a big burly strong guy that's what i used to play out in hollywood again nothing fancy but hey it paid the bills right so uh now i'm gonna see if i can go back to my heydays at, at my best i was weighing about 225 i never was a any good at bench press and i think my best bench bench press was 180 something and that's because i actually have a uh, problem with my right shoulder over here. I might look at a chiropractor later on if the problem does come back. So let's get to it. Let's see how many push-ups I can do. You, you know, last time I got into the gym, like two years ago, really, I did like almost 20 push-ups at one time. So let's see how many push-ups I can do like right now, military style. Uh, military style. All right, let's set up the c camera. Okay. I'm gonna be right here. Let's see if you guys can see me. Yeah, you guys can see me. All right, make it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be fine. At least to be able to see something. All right. All right. So let's uh, begin. Hopefully, I don't embarrass myself on the internet, but it is where it is. All right, here we go. One. Oh. 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 Five. That's it, guys. All I can do, as you saw right there in front of you, I can only do five sit-ups, which is a third, less than a third of what I can do when I was at a lot better than this about two years ago. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a break, and then I'm going to start with the bench press machine. So I'm going to put you guys on pause until a uh, minute, minute and a half from now. And uh, we're gonna start loading up that machine right over there, okay guys? All right guys, so I took about a two minute break. Time to get the bench press going. As you can see, today obviously is gonna be my bench day. 
So uh, how much should we load that 45 pound bar with? I say 25 and 25. I know what you're saying, Amr. That's under 800 pounds. You're six foot three, 260 pounds. Most certainly you can do more than 100. Yeah, maybe, but you know what? Haven't been to the gym in half a year and I definitely, definitely don't want to risk it. All right, where are the hooks at or whatever it is to clasp them? All right, put the clasps on. All right, so 25, I'm sorry, wait, wait a second, huh. I actually put 45 and 45, that's 135, I wanted to put 25 and 25, I'm not going to take them, I'm not going to take them off, I'm going to do 45, 45 plus the bar 45, that's 135 pounds, first time I do a bench press in over half a year. Let's see how many I can do, if any. Oh. One. Two. Three. Four. Six. Seven. All right, guys, you saw it as yourself. I did 10 of those. I honestly wasn't expecting to do 10, maybe three or four at the max, but I did 10. Now, here's the deal. Like I mentioned earlier, I have a shoulder injury. I never got it looked at. The whole reason why I think I was able to do 10 like that, because my shoulder injury, obviously, uh, it didn't heal. It just wasn't being uh, work. It just wasn't being uh, activated. However, the last three, uh, the last three reps, I felt the pain in my shoulder. So it looks like I probably will have to go to a chiropractor to see what's going on with this with uh, the right shoulder, because in addition to me being low TRT, seems like. Uh, this shoulder is the reason why my benching is under 200 pounds, which is a, uh, uh, which is a, which is a shame to be honest with you. All right, so I'm going to take a minute or two rest, then I'm going to come back and do another set. See what, see what's up. All right, guys. So I'm back. Let's see how many we can do on the second set. If you remember, we did. 10 no problem doing 10 let's see how many i can do the second time All right, guys, as you just saw, I only was able to do five reps. That's half of what I did just five minutes ago. You also took notice that this time around, I didn't go all the way down to my chest. I stayed like maybe a couple of inches over the chest. Why, you might ask? Well, number one, in all honesty, my chest is underdeveloped. It should be a lot bigger than this, but because it's not, 
when I go all the way down to my chest, what ends up happening is that I end up putting the shoulder in a position where the shoulder gets impinged, I believe it's called, and that's when my shoulder begins to hurt. So for a lot of you guys out there, I see a lot of young people, and this is a problem I did a long time ago, maybe 15 years ago, is that I would, you know, bounce the weight off of my chest. And uh, when you go all the way down like that, the way you, especially if you have long arms like I do, and you go all the way down like this, uh, you end up risking getting your shoulder impinged, and then you end up being like me, whereby you have a bad shoulder, and all likelihood you probably will need to go to a doctor, maybe even surgery for it. So, I just did five. Usually I would like to do 10 reps to begin with, around 10 reps. Doesn't have to be 10, could be more, could be less, but I like to keep them around 10. The second time, I usually like to do around six. Five is okay. All in all, I would like to do a grand total of 30 reps with one single exercise. Um, but as we saw, we went from 10 to 5, and uh, the third rep, the third set, I don't know. Can we do 4? Can we do 5? Maybe we can only do 2. I don't know. But I'm going to see you in, a, in uh, 2 minutes. Alright guys, I am back again. Alright, we did uh, 10 reps of 145 pounds. Then 2 minutes later, we did 135 uh, pounds, obviously, same Wait, we did that five times. This is going to be the third, and let's see how many we can do this time. Because we went down from 10 to 5, that's 50% drop. So maybe I can do two or three if I'm lucky. I don't know. Let's find out. All right, I did four. That is actually very surprising for me. I thought uh, three would be really my maximum, but I did four, and uh, I could probably have done one more, but I don't want to push myself for the simple fact that I usually want to push myself at the last rep. I don't want to push myself like halfway through, like I mentioned. I want to get preferably 30 uh, 30 reps of an exercise before I move on to a different exercise. So, so far we have 10, 5, 4. We have 19 of this. So, if I get 30 of it, I'll be happy. Or if I get close to 30, I'll still be happy. Now, I can't stress this enough. As you guys saw, I didn't go all the way down because if I go all the way down, it will cause my shoulder to impinge and that will cause me tremendous amount of pain so that's why I'm keeping it a couple of inches above my chest and uh, for a lot of you guys out there who have an underdeveloped chest like me if you do experience pain by going all the way down you can actually feel your shoulder improperly rotate when you go all the way down don't go all the way down and another thing to keep in mind in all of this is that you want to keep the bar at your nipple level, okay? You don't want to go too far back because that will also impinge your shoulder. So when the bar is going up and down, just imagine it going up and down on your nipples. You don't want to go too far back, that will impinge. You don't want to go too far forward because that will just be awkward. All right, so I'm going to check with you guys in a couple of minutes, see how many I can do the fourth time. All right, guys, back again. We are going to do the fourth set. We did 10 the first time, 5 the second time, 3rd the last time. Let's see how many reps we can do now. Ugh.
Well, I'm really surprised. I did four. I thought I'd be doing three, but I did four again. So we did 10, five, that's 15. Then another four, that's 19, plus another four. That is, uh, what, 23? So it looks like I might make it up to 30 sooner than I expected. Now, you guys noticed that when I went down, uh, again, I don't go all the way down because of my long arms. It causes my shoulder to impinge, and I don't want to reactivate the, in, uh, the injury I have in here. So I have to play it safe, right? Uh, it's not just playing it safe, but that's really the way I should be doing it. All of us should be doing it. You don't want to go this far back. Uh, you want to keep it... In, again, I cannot stress this enough because you can... I've, I've, I've known so many people... Uh, they do it wrong, and all of a sudden, on the way up, they end up, their shoulder just gives out, and that becomes a permanent damage where they can't bench press ever again. So we definitely don't want to do that by going too far down. And again, most people will either have a bad left shoulder or a bad right shoulder, so you have to be extremely mindful and in tune with your body because if you feel that one shoulder is gonna give out you know don't overdo it a lot of people think well you know what I'm just gonna do the exercise and, and, and eventually the shoulder will get strong by itself to keep up with the other shoulder doesn't work like that and again I'm not a chiropractor if you do have shoulder inju injury go to a chiropractor to get it checked out so uh, I'm going to check back with you guys in a couple of minutes, uh, do set number five. All right, guys, I am back again for set number five. We did 10, then we did five, then we did four, then we did four. And now we are going to do set number five. Let's see how many reps we can do this time. We did four the last time. Again, I did four. That's the third, no, that's the third time I do four reps straight and I didn't feel that I am fatigued. Now, usually, like I said, I like to fatigue around the 30th rep, the 30th, yeah, the 30th rep mark. Now, we did 10, 15, 19, 23, 27. So I may, uh, hopefully I might fatigue in the next two or three sets, but right now I feel good. Um, as you guys noticed, when I go down, one of, the, one of the things you probably took notice of is that when I go down, I usually stay down for about a second and a half, two seconds, then I push back up. The reason behind it is that what you want is that you want all your muscle, your, your uh, twitch fibers, your muscle fibers, you want them all to like gang up while you're down there and then you come all the way back up with your muscles fully activated. A lot of you guys out there, what you do is that you literally bounce the bar off of your chest. You're like, boom, go down like this and come back up. Two things happen. Number one, again, when you go too far down, you're gonna end up destroying this or this. That's number one, like I mentioned so many times before. The second thing is you're bouncing the chest, you're bouncing the bar off of your chest. So when you're going back up again, your muscle fibers, they don't have time to gang up. So you're not getting the full benefit of, of doing the rep, you're not. Now I know a lot of you guys, you like to show off in front of the woman at the gym and, you know, some of you might be looking at me right now saying, Yo, Amr, you're only doing, um, you're only doing 135 pounds. You're 6 foot 3, 260 pounds. 
and you're only doing 135 pounds, barely, barely your weight. You should be ashamed of yourself. Well, I'm doing it right. A lot of you guys out there, you don't do it right. That's the problem. All right, guys, I'm going to see you on, re on set number six, uh, number six uh, very soon. All right, guys, back at you for rip set number six. Let's see what we can uh, do on this one. We did 10, we did 5, we did 4, we did 4. Uh, let's see, we did 10, 5, and uh, no, 3 4s. And now let's see how many we can do on set number 6. And I want you to look at how the bar goes down, how far it goes down, how long it, it stays down before I go back up again. And take notice there's a, that there's probably a little bit of a distance between my chest and the bar at first. Then eventually, like the next rep or two, the distance between the bar and my chest gets a little bit smaller. And that's because as you lift weight and your body naturally gets into the left, you can be a little bit more flexible on how far down your, the bar can go. So let's do this. Oh. So again, we did four reps and it wasn't an issue for me. Uh, I can probably do five, but I don't have a spotter and at the same time, I really don't want to anger this shoulder. So I would much rather do four uh, a couple of times until I fatigue and do like maybe two or three uh, then try to do a five and end up getting this shoulder really, really messed up. So hopefully you guys noticed that again, the bar didn't go, I didn't bounce off my chest. I took my, you know, I lit the bar rest for, not rest. No, no, no. You have to understand the bar. I'm, here's the thing. You have to be under tension all the time. Your muscle has to be under tension all the time. As you guys saw, uh, under no circumstance, under no time, was my muscles at rest. A lot of you guys out there, you rest the bar on your chest when you get tired. You bounce the ball, the bar off of your chest. If your chest, if if, if your if your chest is not under constant pressure, what ends up happening is that your muscles, they just you know surrender. You know they surrender. And then you reactivate them again. It's like you're not getting the full benefit of the exercise. So as long as your muscles are all activated, that's when you get the full benefit of the exercise. Even if you're doing 135 pounds rather than doing, say, you know, 300 pounds and you're doing it all wrong. So I'm going to see you on rep on set number seven. All right, guys, I'm back again for set number seven. This time I didn't take the full two minute break. And the reason behind it is that once I get close to that magical number of 30 repetitions for one exercise and I see myself doing the same number like four over and over again, what I end up doing is that I make my breaks shorter uh, obviously, you don't want your break to be only 25 seconds or uh, half a minute. You want your breaks to be at least at least a minute. So instead of my break being like two minutes or two minutes and a half when I go drink water or whatever, 
I'm making my break like a minute and some seconds because I'm obviously I'm talking to you guys so uh, I uh, I really want to do three reps I really want my body to start fatiguing but if I have to do four reps so be it so let's see how many reps we're gonna do for set number seven let's go Well, I uh, almost went above uh, the bar over there. Then again, I have super duper long hands, uh, arms. All right, guys. Um, as you guys took notice, I got a little bit tired, obviously, because my break was uh, only a minute and a couple of seconds rather than two minutes long. Now, you probably took notice. I don't know if you were able to take notice of it, but I kind of like corrected myself because on uh, rep number two, I believe, on rep number two what ended up happening is that my my arms were too far forward like this they weren't above my nipple they were kind of a little bit uh, forward they were you know not that way but this way and when your arms are past your nipples then the exercise is no is not as effective as it would be if your arms was directly above your nipples so I was correcting myself uh, uh, when I was up uh, when I had the bar up there a lot of you guys out there because of your bad form you don't have the opportunity to do what I do you don't have the opportunity to correct yourself uh, doing the exercise properly is really the best way to go and again even if you're not doing super duper heavy weights as long as your muscles as long as you're lifting heavy as long as your muscles are being activated that's all that matters you guys saw me go down from 10 reps to 5 reps and then I've been doing 4 for the past what 4 or 5 sets I'm actually gonna do set number 8 right now i didn't even take a break you guys saw me i've been talking to you guys for what almost a minute now so i'm gonna do set right number eight right now no break let's do this <clears throat> All right, I, uh, I tried to do four, I couldn't, and that, that is going to be the end for this exercise for me. Let me get the bar off of, my, uh, off of my lap, and I'll get back to you guys in like a minute. All right, guys, so that is the end of my workout for you guys, not for me. I still have more... Uh, chest workouts I still have triceps to do because I do triceps and chest on the same day but that's gonna be it for you guys right there as you guys saw I did 10 then I did 5 then I did 4 for 5 more times so that's 20 plus 15 35 and then on set number 8 where I fatigued right in front of you I did three, so I did a total of 38 reps doing 135 pounds, which is actually a lot better than I expected. I honestly thought I'd probably be lucky if I did like 95 pounds. So I'm very happy with what's going on. However, uh, I did complain that my shoulder is beginning to uh, 
start uh, acting up again. When I was putting the camera up there where you guys are, when I was going like this, like this to put up the camera, I did notice that my shoulder does indeed, uh, again, it's, it, it's, it's all about the awkwardness of how your shoulder is. I believe it's called impingement. I have to look it up, but the, but the thing is, yeah, there's definitely something wrong with my shoulders. I am doing the exercises in safe mode. I could probably did rip number four. You know, I could probably did an additional set, but I said to myself, you know what? Uh, not busting up your shoulder is uh, better than busting up your shoulder just to get an additional uh, rep or two in there. This is what you guys have to do is that when you uh, notice that your body is probably going to give out, especially the shoulder because it's so uh, delicate over in here, uh, it's better for you to just say, you know what, let me move on. There are other exercises out there where I can get more of the chest than having to worry about the shoulder. So even if I don't go 100% all out on the bench press, there are other exercises out there that will still give me a well-developed chest. But I'm very happy with what we did over here. And I'm going to see you in another video. All right, guys, you take care of yourselves. And if you haven't, subscribe because I do videos a couple of times a week, whether I'm working out or whether I am telling you my story with testosterone replacement therapy. You might even get some stories from Hollywood. So I'll talk to you guys later, all right? Peace.